What's going on people? It's your boy d -Buck. This is not a drill. I'm actually creating a FIFA video. I think it's been seven months since my last FIFA video. But with the release of FIFA 21 coming out in the next a few weeks, or is it a couple of weeks, I thought what better way to start with the new icons reveal. So yesterday EA released a promo video on Twitter, not even on YouTube, showcasing one of the new icons and that icon is Eric Cantona. Now when I first saw these cards initially, I thought half of them would be unusable. But haven't seen all the full roster now, it's you know, I've been relatively surprised. So, first up, let's start with Zavi. Now, Zavi was one of the players that I imagine was unusable, similar to Skulls, similar to Pirlo. But that base and prime card both has 80 plus pace. That mid is not too bad if you slap a shirt on it. Whilst it's nothing amazing, it's definitely a usable card. Next up, we have Samuel Eto. Now, what can I say about this card? All three cards will be meta in my opinion. The prime looks ridiculous. The only issue with this card that he may have three star weak foot. So that may be the only reason why this card might not be one of the best in the game. Now we've got Vidic, who was someone who was a great defender for United. His baby is okay. His mid is awful with that 70 pace, but his prime may be possibly the new Blanc. I don't know, we're gonna have to see how he plays in game. Schweinsteiger, another player who I thought wasn't going to be usable. His base card is left midfield, which can easily be moved into CM. But his mid card is horrible and his prime warts are maybe decent with a shadow. I don't see it being too desirable. So I think Schweinsteiger is not going to be a very expensive card in my opinion. Now for the best card out of all the icons, out of all the new icons, and that's Puskas. Now I'd be lying if I've ever seen this guy play. In fact, many of you guys would be lying if you've seen this guy play. However, looking at this card, it's just ridiculous. Even his mid has over 90 dribbling and 95 shooting. All three cards is going to be a lot of money. And this is probably going to be the most you know, sought after card out of all the new icons. In my opinion, I think there's only one other card that can match it and we'll see him in a bit. Next up, we got Sukur. Now, technically, he is not new because I think he was on FIFA 17, if I'm not mistaken. This card may be decent in the early FIFA cycle, but after a while, there'll be so many better options. This guy is reminding me of the new Inzaghi. Now, onto Fernando Torres, Atletico legend, great striker at Liverpool. His base card is not too great, but the pace of his middle and prime will make a lot of people go for him. His dribbling is a bit low, but I'm sure the pace will make up for it. Depending how this meta is on this game, I haven't seen it i haven't played it yet so if it's about pace torres is gonna be a good card check keepers are normally rubbish on fifa but i can see that prime check being desirable i love the fact that it made sure the prime did not have the helmet because he was an absolute monster before that head injury so maybe the prime will be good but the other two i don't know i think icon keepers are generally not worth it and just too expensive really now on to ashley cole now i think ashley cole has been done a little dirty here he was one of the best left backs in europe and whilst the baby has over 90 pace the prime only has 89 he was pretty quick in his you know prime the mid's not really usable but i think uh, ashley cole was one of the best left backs of this generation so for him to have a, you know only an 89 rated cards you know he could have been better but i understand where he is coming from next up we have a philip Lam. Lam was such a good footballer who could play many positions and fifa shows that the left back card with 88 pace is definitely usable the cdm card which already looks ridiculous and his prime may actually be the least desirable with that 87 pace but you know he's going to be a great card you just slap a shadow slap an anchor and he is going to be a great card to have especially that cdm card and finally on to eric cantona believe it or not i thought cantona on the game would be similar to burkamp but seeing as he's the EA ambassador, EA nice him with the stats. His base cam, his base is a great cam, as well as his mid. But his prime looks crazy. 89 pace with with 92 physical, over 90 dribbling, shooting, and passing. This card may potentially even have a five star weak foot. It's just gonna be ridiculous. I think Cantona, along with Puskas, is gonna be one of the great cards that everyone's gonna go after. And he's gonna be a hell of expensive and that's it people what do you guys think of new icons are you excited to use any let's hope icon sbcs will be back so we can actually get to use some of these cards now fifa 21 is in our sights i'll be doing a lot more fifa content including showing you guys how to play the full game of fifa 21 before the release date vip2 gaming will be going through a rebound very soon so make sure you follow us on twitter in the description below who knows we may be doing 
a giveaway for a certain game very soon so make sure you check that out i'm out guys peace